The Astros make a good decision. No, wait, that can't be right, can it? Hey guys, it's Josh and Danny Know It All coming to you again today to talk about some other stuff in Major League Baseball. Uh, before we do, guys, don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts below on the uh, hiring of Dusty Baker with the Astros down in the comments. But guys, let's jump right into this. The Astros, it looks like Dusty Baker is their choice to become their, their manager, and honestly, I think it's a good decision. Uh, Dusty is a three-time NL Manager of the Year, three additional times he was actually second in the voting. Uh, so that's six times he was either first or second uh, for NL Manager of the Year. The guy has a winning record overall, and he's won everywhere he's gone except for Cincinnati. Uh, had a losing record, but honestly, I don't think that team was real was very good to begin with. So uh, him as a manager was kind of just uh, in a bad spot. But, you know, he's coached the, the Giants, took them to a World Series, coached the Nationals, the Cubs. So he's got... A lot of experience. He is an old school guy. And, you know, I think in terms of bringing a presence to the Astros that was going to um, look positively from the outside, people on the outside looking in, uh, this would be it. Uh, him or Buck Showalter probably would have been the two best uh, just because of their attitudes, their old school mentality would make people at least look and say, oh, well, they're trying to do things right. Um, you know, whether it changes the atmosphere, changes the culture, I don't know. I think it will down in Houston. Um, I think this was, like I said, one of their better choices uh, to do. They could have gone with a younger, new manager, but that would run the risk of the same thing, of, of a young manager feeling like he can't call out his players, feeling like he can't step in and, and take charge. Um, so I like this. I like this hiring. I think he's a good manager. Um, he's got a long career as a player as well, almost 2,000 hits, uh, like 242 home runs. So he's got he's got some uh, legitimate uh, insight as a player and as a manager being involved in the game for as long as he has. So you're talking about a good pickup. I think it was a good hire for the Astros. Um, now, whether this changes the outcome of their season, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Uh, I said it before in a previous video that I think that this season is going to be so mentally draining on the players because everywhere they go, including their home stadium, they're going to have people just feeling like they have no leash, no line in the sand. They can go and say whatever they want to, to these guys, and it's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad season for the Astros. Uh, they're going to be just flat out torn to pieces uh i wouldn't be surprised if you know I, I don't i don't want to see this but i wouldn't be surprised if you're gonna see fans throwing stuff at the guys every game every game like i said home and away i i think there's going to be a lot of challenges for these guys where yes they might get some relief at home but the second they're on the road where maybe on a a monday or a tuesday or a wednesday the crowds wouldn't be that big normally I think you're going to see every time the Astros play, wherever they play, the crowd's going to be big and they're going to be verbally violent. That, that's, that's really, I think, the best way to describe it. They're going to be verbally violent uh, towards the players. Even guys who are brand new to the team, guys who weren't a part of the 2017 cheating scandal, they're going to be targets. All of them, they're going to be targets. Every hitter, every pitcher, every coach, the manager, they're going to be targets um, from day one. And you know what? That part of it, I kind of feel bad for the organization because it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. Uh, and there's nothing Major League Baseball can really do about that. It is what it is. Um, I want to see what it looks like in Anaheim when uh, Houston comes to, to play and all the Dodger fans are there. Because uh, you know, you know, Dodger fans are not merciful. Not at all. Uh, you, you get them drunk, you get them going, and you know I've been to Dodger games. I I, I love being down there. I, and I've seen I've been to Dodger games up in Seattle when they come up and and play there, and the fans are crazy there. And I've been down to L.A. and watched games there, and the fans are passionate and they're 
most fans are real, they're smart. They know the game inside and out. But let's be honest, there's enough of them that are just a crazy fanatic drunk fan that you know you never know what's going to happen so that part of it I'm not, I'm not real excited about for this year but i want to see what happens i want to see how the players react i want to see how many times a pitcher gets on the mound who got shelled last year the year before 2017 by the astros and decides hey i'm going to pick a player and i'm going to i'm going to put them out of the game one way or another i'm going to throw at their head throw at their back i'm going to do everything i can to make them pay for what they did. And that's going to happen this year too. Uh, there's going to be some Astros guys who are going to leave games because they got hit in the head with a ball. There's going to be a lot of benches clearing brawls. And so hopefully having Dusty Baker there will help kind of um, change things a little bit. And one, maybe it'll set the guys on the right path and get them to actually apologize uh, for what they did. And, you know, I don't know. But like I said, in the end, if, if I was the Astros and I had to make a decision on who to hire as a manager, uh, Dusty Baker is not a bad choice. He's not a bad choice. Like I said, he has a winning history. Uh, he's taking teams to playoffs. And, yes, had troubles getting out of the first round with the Nationals. But at the same time, he made it to the playoffs. I, I'm a Mariner fan. I haven't seen the playoffs in 18 years, 19 years after this season. So, yeah, I would take a first round and out every time right now because – I don't get to see any of that. I don't get to see the playoffs with my team. So, yeah, first round and out is better than nothing. Now, I know the Astros uh, won the World Series in 2017, made it last year, but those are asterisks. You know, there's big asterisks next to those. So if they can make the playoffs this year, you know, at least they can say, hey, we didn't win just because of cheating. We actually have talent. That'd be a big thing. It would be a big thing for them. They could kind of prove people wrong that, yeah, we are a playoff team and any playoff team that gets hot can win a World Series because uh, that's true. If you make the playoffs and you get hot, you can win. doesn't matter who you are. The Nationals, I don't think, were the best team last year, but they got hot enough to win, and they are the champions. So, uh, you know, Dusty Baker's got a tough road ahead of him. I do not envy him with that right now. That is not going to be a fun situation, but that's the job. He took it. He accepted it. Um you know, he might be the best choice for them. So, guys, once again, I'm Josh, the 90 Note All, coming to you, talking about Dusty Baker's hiring and a little bit more. But in the end, I think it's a good hire. I think it's a good hire. It helps the Astros out, gives them a different perception across baseball, and, you know, we'll see what happens. So, guys, catch you on the next video, and I will see you later.